Hello, welcome back to uh, Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. This is the second recording today on this casino, trying to build my balance, showing you how I do it. If you want to know more information about any of the roulette tools, if you think you can make use of them, you can get gain access to them on my website, which is rouletteprofitandstop.co.uk. Make sure you check that out. Also, if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. That would be a great way of supporting my channel. Thank you. So I'm going to use the missing section tool. This is the fifth session over two days. I'm doing three recordings um, each day for a few days, and then I'm going to go down to two recordings for each casino per day, and then I'm going to go down to one recording for each casino per day that I'm going to reassess. The returns I've, I've gained from um, that setup and I explain why I'm going to reduce the targets of gaining profit each time I get further in. So this is um, recording number five or session five. We're looking to get to 38.40. I'm using the missing section roulette tool. Click to play. I'm going to input the history of numbers from right to left into the tool. And then I'm going to start placing bets and trying to make three quid. 17, 22, 24. So I'm clicking on each number on the tool. Each time I click on a number, it resets that number back down to zero. And if anything associated with that number goes back to zero, and then um, anything not associated with the number that I'm clicking on increments by a value of one. So it's counting up on the other numbers that aren't associated with the number I'm clicking on. So 10 spins, it's not hit the middle row. Now 11 spins. I'm going to try and get this win in one hit. Or maybe, well, let's try and get it in two. So middle row. If the middle row hits on this spin, because it's not hit for 11 spins in a row, which doesn't mean to say it's definitely coming in. So don't think that, because it could go missing for 30-odd spins before hitting. So it could go quite high. 11 normally hits if it gets to this value. This is the, the value it hits on if it gets this high, usually. Um, and it's just done it. There you go, number 8 on a value of 11, so that's my win. So I've just made one pound. I'm going to go second dozen's highlighted now. So that's, that's my next bet. If this second dozen hits, I've made another one pound. So I'm looking to make three, three pounds, three dollars, three uh, euros profit. And I've made one of the three so far. This is my second bet. So I'm making it as simple as possible to generate uh, my targets. That's what I'm trying to show and share how easy it can be, which could be a negative if you think about it. If you think of it that way, how easy it could be, it could be a negative. That's a myth. Um, but how, you know, I'm not on for long, basically, is what I'm, what I'm trying to say. I'm just jumping on, doing what's necessary, and then coming off. That's it. This is my second bet, and I've repeated the bet and added a chip. So if I win on this spin, I get £1.50 profit or $1.50 profit or one euro fifty profit. So on this spin. So that'll take me to two euro fifty, two dollar fifty, or two pound fifty profit. Of the three dollar, three euro, three pound that I'm looking to achieve. So thirteen to twenty four. Zero is a miss. So I'll repeat the bet and add a chip. Again, if I hit on this spin I get one pound fifty profit. Four pound fifty return. And then I'm only 50 pence off my target, which is just one more hit, basically. So if zero goes to, uh, it might hit 13, 14, 20, well, 13, 14, in fact, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. In fact, most of those numbers could hit. But it's not, it's missed, it's number eight. Okay, so this is now my fourth bet. So now it's cost me five pounds total to place this bet. If you add up all the bets I've placed on the second dozen, it's cost me five pounds at this point. Because my balance is 31.40 and I started with 35.40. So in fact, it says it, it's, um, I did get into profit by one pound to begin with. So it has, has cost me five pounds so far. If this misses and I want to carry on placing a bet, I repeat and add two chips. 
Oh, that should have been 19. That was cheeky. That was four. That was not good. Repeat and add two. So this is now my fifth bet. This is where you don't want it to go. You don't want to be on your fifth or your sixth bet and not hitting. I'll have to change my strategy in a minute. If this misses, it's a 13 to 24. I'm, at my, I'm on my fifth bet. It's a three pound bet, nine pound return if it hits. It's not playing, is it? It's definitely not playing. So 11 spins. We're in the 11 spins. So I'm going to repeat the bet and add three chips. This is a £4.50 bet. I get 13 50 uh, Well, I get 18 back. Don't know if it hits. No, I don't. I get 13 50 back if it hits. So if this misses, this is my sixth bet. I'm going to take um, a different action. Is how it could go, where it just does not want to hit. It hit on the eleventh bet on the middle roll, hitting number eight. Let's see if he does it on the second dozen on the eleventh bet. Doesn't want to do it. Doesn't want to do it, does it? That's not good. So doing all the low numbers, I'm gonna do a bit of a cheeky bet on twenty-one, thirty-five, four, two. Eight, so that's been out recently. Thirteen, the eleven. I wanted to do zero, so <clears throat> I'm doing the inside game now. I've done one number in that second dozen. It's number twenty-one. I've done the neighbour of twenty-one because the four has been out recently, and twelve combo is tw twelve twenty-one is my combo. I'm hoping it's going to be number twenty-one or two or the four. Six, bloody typical, isn't it? it just does not want to play. So second dozen odd. Third dozen odd. Let's just double up on that. So what I'm doing now is I'm looking at the numbers on the tool. Number six for a repeat, just in case it does that. I think it could be the neighbour of six. I don't want it to be 17 because I've not got that covered and that could be a bet. I think that could be the winning spin if I lose number 17. I want 34. 6 or 27. 21. There's my 21. 13 spins. Bloody typical, isn't it? So I'm going to still do the repeat bet. Repeating the same bet as before. I'm going to add 17. So I've got £7.40 left. So this is me going on the inside again. Going off. Using the tool a little bit for numbers where I think you know it could hit. With the 34. 25. 27, 31, 34, 36. 25, there you go. That's a hit. Boom. That gets me out of the... Uh, into profit, basically. Third dozen, 25. But I had to play the inside game to, to recover that. So that was hard work. Because that was hard work, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to input my balance of 43.40. And I'm not going to continue. I'm at £8 anyway. Um... Next time I come back using this tool, I'll do two dozens rather than just doing the one dozen. Because if it does that again, that'll be hard work to recoup the loss, potentially. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit subscribe, give it a thumbs up. I'll be back later to do another recording on the other casino. See you soon.